What a scene this is here at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. The 20th member of the 500th home run club. That is cranked. Deep left. Gardner leaps. Did he grab it? He did! Oh, what a grab by Brett Gardner to rob C.J. Crone of a long ball. Wow. You betcha, Tyler Clifford. The long pause. Now the kick. Here it comes. Swing and a miss! Swing and a miss! He struck him out with a slider. He has tied the Major League record for strikeouts in a game with 20 strikeouts. Randy Johnson, Kerry Wood, Roger Clemens, and now Max Scherzer are the only pitchers in the history of this game to fan 20 in a game. High fly ball, well tagged this time, and Junior going back to the track. The wall makes the leap and makes the catch. Amazing catch by Junior as he takes a home. MLB The Show has baseball on tap from lovely City Field in New York. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Oakland A's and the New York Mets. It's Mets baseball next on The Show. Jacob deGrom gets the call for game one of the series. What do you have for us on him, H? Well, I love watching this guy pitch, and particularly when he's got runners in scoring position. He's a guy that gets better when he has runners on base. So I'm looking forward to seeing if he gets in a jam. What does he do to get out of these jams where his numbers look so good with runners in scoring position? Digging in, Rajay Davis. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. 77 degrees, our temperature at game time tonight. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. And here's a shot of the athletic starting lineup for this one. Who's the one to watch, Dan? Well, this team could really use a turnaround from Stephen Bolt. You know how bad he was last month? He hit 200 on the nose. Not a lot of guys can stay in the lineup when they're struggling this bad. So we're hoping to see that he can figure this thing out soon. Standing in, Marcus Semyon. It was a two for four effort for him in Wednesday's game. Nope. And there's ball two now. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight. Fortune has been smiling on them recently. They're unbeaten in their last seven games. Well, Matt, they're playing good ball. If you look at the standings, they got a nice, comfortable lead. But comfortable can be, it can be trouble. You got to stay focused. Keep your foot on the pedal and just continue to put that opponent away because this little lead can dwindle quick. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue. The 2-2 two -two one more time. This is line to left. Cespedes is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Absolutely well, jumped all two. over that fastball. Chris and it might have been Davis. a home run if he had it any elevation under it, but it was basically right at the outfielder. Here's Chris Davis now. He's not among the league leaders in home runs, but his total does top this ball club. Two out, nobody on. And this is going to be a foul ball. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. A's are gone in order. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Sean Manaya, a lefty from Indiana, is on the mound here. HR, what's the word on him? Well, Matt, he's putting together an outstanding season on the mound. I mean, anytime you have an ERA 
in the low threes, you've had a solid year. He's taking care of his own business. He's pitching deep in game and giving his team a chance to win every time he goes out. And I think the same will be today. He's going to give them an opportunity to win this game because he'll pitch well. Into the box now, Jose Reyes. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. His stolen base total leads the ball club. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the two and two count. I think he comes back with a changeup here. Swing and a line drive. But this is foul near the seats. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Time now to take a look at Terry Collins' Mets starting lineup in this one. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Yeah, you know, I love what the Grandy man, Curtis Granderson, does for this ball club. I love watching him hit. He just has a knack for getting on base. In fact, he's in the top five in that category in the National League. So expect him to see him work the count and hit the ball hard when he gets a pitch he can handle. Digging in the switch hitter as Drupal Cabrera. Currently third on the team in stolen bases, so we'll see if he gets an opportunity to do any running in this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. Davis comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. Third, At the plate, Joanna Cespedes. He enters this one second in the National League round trip category. Here's the one and one pitch. That's a no offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And Harold is Oakland ball club entering play here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Well, man, I don't know what we're going to get from these guys today. This is the most difficult game, that cross-country trip, and you play the first game on the road. I don't know if they'll be tired or if they can. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Down in order go the Mets. Still no score. So now it's Mark Canna. The season batting average comes in down in the 240s. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. And set up behind the plate, Rusty Valentine, as you see the rest of the umpiring crew for this one. Matt, my man, Rusty Valentine. I just like saying the name, Rusty Valentine. Okay, I'm supposed to talk about what he calls. Look, he's a little accurate on the corners. He's not going to give you much, but he's accurate. But if you go up and down, you might get some calls. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. In this day and age, when teams are moving all over the place playing the shift, these guys are old school, very traditional. You don't see the shift applied very often to this club. Stepping in, Stephen Vogt. And the average isn't pretty, down into the roaring 220s to begin the ball game. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Looking for the strikeout, here's the one, two. He pulls this one into right. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Well, we've watched him dip below 230 in this cold streak. We start off season okay. Said. That single right there, maybe three. that turns him around and gets him Rubber going in the right direction. Blue. Into the box now, Trevor Plouffe. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. And that one misses here as he falls behind the Oakland third baseman. Two and one now. No score here as we play inning number two. Aye. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. Aye. 
And he lays three, off, so it's full now, three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second Nine, now seven. with one away. Second well, when you go with a slider there on a full count, you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. Now to the plate, Adam Rosales. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Now a ball hit high in the air, deep down the line and left, hooking just a little. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. Now a swing, and he pops it foul behind the plate. And he will make the catch back there as they're a step closer to getting out of this with two away now. Here's Matt Joyce now in previous duels with the Grom. Hitless in three at bats. Two men are on with two men out. Popped up. Bruce is there for it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Hayes strand a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. So stepping in, Wilmer Flores. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Takes a knee high fastball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. In front of the change up there is this is chopped foul at home plate. A fastball down near the shoe tops. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Semyon gloves it and a rather easy first out. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Oakland A's. And I'm looking at Marcus Simeon. Man, he had a horrific season years back, kicking the ball over the place. But then he got with Ron Washington and Washington. Marcus, get over here, Marcus. Let's work, Marcus. And you know what? He cut those airs down big time. And he's become a pretty good major league shortstop. Now at the plate, Michael Conforto. The average for him entering play sits down in the 250s. Bottom of the second here with no score. Called strike two. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Yeah, nothing better, huh, guys? I guess maybe the crack of the bat, but I'm not as partial to that as most people. He looks good and loose out there to start this one. On to first, and there were two down. Batting six. Here's the center fielder Curtis Granderson. 22 home runs on the ledger for him so far this year. Bases are empty here with two men out. Up high, two and one now. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. This is pulled into right. A dive, but it's off his glove. Legs churning. He's headed for second. Granderson around second, headed for third. The relay throw, and he is in there. And that's the chance you take when you lay out for a ball like that. You make the play, and you're a hero on the highlight shows. You miss it, and you're picking yourself up and chasing after it. Here's Jay Bruce now. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. No score at this point, but a two out hit could get a runner in from third. Right side. Rosales comes up with it. And they'll escape danger here after the two out triple as the inning is over. No damage done after the two out triple. Two complete. Still scoreless here on the show.
also striding in. Sean Manaya, 9 1 and 2 due up. Oh, and heads up as this is pulled foul. One and two, here it comes. Low with the fastball that time. Two balls and two strikes. I don't know if that was discipline or whether he's just not swinging the bat at all, but hey, at least he's making the pitcher throw a few more pitches. Now a change of locks him up as he looks at strike three called one away. So four of the first seven outs thus far tonight have come via the punch out. And that'll bring us to our Mets leaderboard. And as you can see, he's currently second on the ball club in that department. Here's Rajay Davis now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Two and two count. Here it comes. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Conforto is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. The batter, number 10, shortstop, Marcus Semien. Striding in once again, Marcus Semien. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Set to deal. Here's the 3 1. And this is fouled back and out of play. Third inning, no score to this point. Slapped hard the opposite way. Conforto is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One, two, three, go the A's. Home half of the third coming up, no score. Stepping into the box, Rene Rivera. He begins playing this one with his batting average over the 310 plateau. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. The pitch. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Finally, up to this point, the entire lineup had been swinging at anything close. And this guy decides to show a little more patience at the dish and is rewarded with the base on balls. That was a good at bat. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And they indeed have the pitcher bunting here as he gets this one down. On to first to complete the double play. Oh, that's the last thing you want to happen when you're trying to bunt a guy into scoring position. He got it down, but you have to deaden the ball, too. Otherwise, these infielders just eat it up and turn it into a double play. In now, Jose Reyes. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. And that ends the inning. Mets go down quickly. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Chris Davis. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Davis waits on the 1-1. Swing and a pop-up behind home plate, and that'll get out of play and into the VIP seats. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. Got him swinging in the dirt. He'll throw down to first, one away. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball, not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters. Both guys topping out at 95 miles an hour. Digging in to try it again. Mark Canna comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Oh, and he struck him out as well. So he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. 
Wow, this guy's mowing right through this lineup right now, but that's what happens when you don't get a chance to see a pitcher very often. That's one of the things that are helpful when you're pitching in interleague games. It's always a good advantage for the pitcher because the hitters don't get to see that guy very often. Digging in for his second at bat, Stephen Vogt. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. And now a pitch on the way. Oh, and he leaves that one right over the plate as this is in high and deep out to right center field. And it is gone. A home run. Solo shot to right center. Number 13 for him on the year. And the A's are on the board first, one to nothing. He might have thought he was over the hump when he retired the three and four hole hitters, but the five hole hitter said, not so fast. Any of these middle of the order guys can burn you. And he sure did right there. Into the box now, Trevor Plouffe. As he swings and hits a laser to right. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. But the A's hit the board first on this solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 1-0 in favor of the A's. Into the box as Drupal Cabrera. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Driven nicely into the gap. Rounding first is Cabrera on his way to second now. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. And they've got the runner trapped in a hot box between second and third now. The tag, and they got him as he couldn't get back to second. The left fielder number 52. Here's Juan Cespedes. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. And he lays off for a ball, 2-1. Leaves a slider up high, but it's taken for a strike. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Seared down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Ready for another chance? Wilmer Flores. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Drilled to the right side. Throw gets him there from short right field. A nice play, and that one ends the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. They still trail one nothing. Now at the plate, Adam Rosales. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hit down the third baseline. Oh, look at the sliding stop. Hats off to that one. Now batting, right fielder. Matt now batting, Joyce. Matt Joyce comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Three one is a fastball and he can't connect three and two when you get yourself to a three one count and you get a fastball those are the ones you really want to punish couldn't get the bat on it so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. got him swinging on the fastball there Matt the Joyce batter. becomes Enter. the second out here in inning number five. Right. 
Standing in now, Sean Manaya. Ball and two strikes. The count now with the bases empty and two away. Hey, Matt, you're the pitcher. There's two outs, nobody on. You're letting it fly, right? I'd be doing the same thing like he just did right there. Two big swings, and he has nothing yet. He executed that one-two curveball pretty well. I think it's right. And the third baseman makes the play. That ends the inning. A's are gone in order, but they hold a one-nothing lead. With Harold Reynolds, Dan Plesak, Matt Vaskersian, as Michael Conforto digs into the left-handed side of the batter's box to start things out. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher, you Center can get fielder, frustrated when three. you make a good pitch and you don't Ernest. get that call from the umpire. Landers. But what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. Into the box, Curtis Granderson. Hit sharply on the ground. Throw on to first will get him score at 5 3 on the put out, though it looked more like first a 6 to 3 ground ball. Eight. Nevertheless, there Shane. are two away now. Bruce. Now at the plate, Jay Bruce. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And the pitch on 2 and 1. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. And that's through for a hit. Matt, did you see where they were playing him? They're playing him in the ship, and he just did not care. If you hit the ball hard, I guess that's his philosophy. It was going to get through anyway, and we saw it right there. Base hit into the ship. Digging in, Rene Rivera. He drew a walk his first time up. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. Boy, Matt, he's in some kind of groove, and they better get something working because he is one pitch away from throwing five shutout innings. Talk about dominant work so far. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. All right, three two count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. From the belt, the pitch. Just hung in there on that one. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Mets leave one. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Here's Rajay Davis now. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Here's the one and one pitch. And a fastball just a bit high. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And he reaches out for one and may have chased it as this is skied into the air to straightaway center. And there to take it in is Granderson for the first out of the inning. The batter, number 10. Short stop. Stepping in and ready for Marcus. another shot, Marcus Semyon. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Popped high in the air. There to take it in his Flores, and there are two away now. The left fielder, number two. Here's Chris Davis Chris now, and he's Davis. likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. Well, he got what he's looking for. He just got out in front of it right there. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. And that slider must have been low. It's ball three. 
Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Conforto going back. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the A's. But they're up one to nothing. Digging in for his second at bat, Jacob DeGrom. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And we see some action in the A's bullpen now. It's both a left hander and a righty that start to loosen up. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Chasing after it is Davis. He's there and records the first out. Third baseman, number seven. Ready for another okay. shot now. Jose Reyes. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. No runs, three hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. In time to first, and there are two away. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. No runs, three hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. There's a changeup over the outside corner. We're really watching a great performance. This is a good hitting team. He's got two outs already in the sixth inning. We're one out away from watching him get through the sixth with all zeros on the board. The next three two. Hit hard to short. Simeon's got it. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. It remains one nothing. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. The A's are on top in this one as we get set for the seventh. But before it gets underway, let's take a look at our game summary to this point. So now it's Mark Canna. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Hit the other way out toward right field. Throw into second. And he's out trying to stretch it into a double, so a costly mistake here leading off the Oakland inning. For Oakland, Catherine, Stephen Vogt. Stephen Vogt will stand in again as we take you back to earlier in the ball game. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a swing and a miss and he's behind one and two and then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah stuff stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it but he does and he really spotted that pitch. Conforto is right there as he takes it for the second out. Here's Trevor Plouffe standing in comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Now a hard liner toward short, but there to take it is Cabrera, and with that, the side is retired. A's are gone in order. They lead it 1 to nothing. Digging in to try it again, Joannis Cespedes. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right hander begins throwing. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Well, they haven't had a lot of offense in this game. Right now, though, you got three balls here. Maybe this will be the leadoff walk that gets things going for. Him. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Man, that's a tough Back one to swallow. Play. You're hanging on Wilmer. to a slim lead. Morales. And the last thing you want to do is give up a leadoff walk. Seems like those are the ones that always come back to haunt you. So we'll see if that's the case here. 
A runner at first with no outs here. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Ready to deliver the one and two. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Swing, and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Here's another 2 2. Hit to short. Backhanded. Rosales on to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ballgame, as there are quickly two away now. Boy, and that's a great play there at short. He's forced to go to the backhand and then pivot on that right leg to throw against the momentum of his body. These guys make it look easy. That's one you can definitely launch into right field if you're not under control. Stepping in now, Michael Conforto. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Well, you never want the tying run on base, especially that way. Looked like he lost his release point, and the ball Three, ran inside five. until it caught him. Now we'll see if he can work around it. Into the box now, Curtis Granderson. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Fastball right down the middle for a strike. Boy, he's been great in this one. And he's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Pitch outside the throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Digging in once again, Adam Rosales. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Ready on 1 and 2. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. Very tight ball game so far. Not one nothing the score as we take a look at our starter yeah. comparison. Sure. And both guys have given excellent performances to this point. Ready once again, Matt Joyce. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. One out, nobody on. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. That's a good fastball down the zone. Now, some hitters are good low ball hitters, but that's exactly where you want to be. Sent on the ground out to second. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one-out hit. He'll get it into second, and he'll get in there safely. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish lately, trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's got to feel pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for. In now, Sean Manaya. I uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. And it looks now like a right hander's begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. And he rings up another one, make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. Pitching certainly has been on display in this one. And there's the evidence of it right there. One nothing our score, as there are an awful lot of zeros on that line score to this point. Riding in once again, Rajay Davis. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. The A's strand one, but they're on top one to nothing. Now 
now at the plate. Curtis Granderson, one for two with a triple so far in this one. Crowd gets up for the three two. And this is fouled at the plate. Another full count pitch home. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Canna is over and he's got it for the first out of the inning. First baseman number Here's Jay Bruce now. He's hey. one for two in the ball game. Ooh. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. That misses one and two. Wow, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there. You're down 0 2. You're in protect mode. You want to chase that ball. Nice layoff. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. The bottom third of the lineup hasn't put up a lot of resistance in this one. Pretty much has been sure outs other than that one hit. That really puts a lot of pressure on other guys to make stuff happen. These aren't the guys you usually count on, but it certainly helps if they can do something productive. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Grounded back up the middle taken in by Simeon. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Ninth inning coming up. The A's lead this one one to nothing. Now beautiful look there outside the home of the Mets here in Flushing as we welcome you back for the ninth. Hansel Robles enters from the pen to start the ninth the inning as he'll try Number to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. So striding in, Marcus Semyon. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Into the box, Chris Davis. Check swing as he pops this one onto the right side. Knee high, he barehands it. Nice grab, but no play at first, and that'll be scored a single. I can't it? believe he got the a check baseball. swing single. How frustrating Mark. for the pitcher. Damn. You make a good pitch, got him fooled, he checks his swing and gets a base hit. He's got to be thinking, you don't deserve that hit. So now it's Mark Canna. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's 1 and 2. Here's the one and two delivery and he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. That's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes. Not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice but at least his guys are ahead. Stepping in now Stephen Vogt pulled high in the air out to right field. Conforto giving chase. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. One left for Oakland, but they lead it one to nothing. Your Ryan Madsen play. comes on looking for now a save here the in the eight. bottom of the ninth inning. Number 44, Ryan Madsen. Lucas Duda will pinch hit here and he's the potential tying run.
This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And the pinch hitter is retired here, one away. Now batting. Ready for another chance. Okay. Jose Reyes. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. And that is swung on and missed. And things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. Hey, anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Standing in now as Google Cabrera. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Wow, that game flew by, but that's what happens when you get a well-pitched one-run game. Both hurlers battled, and it's almost a shame somebody had to lose this one. And that one run held up tonight, one nothing the final. The Oakland A's earned the victory despite only collecting four total hits. Sean Manaya earns his fifth winner of the year. Jacob DeGrom struck out 10 in the losing effort. Ryan Madsen hammers down the save, his 26th. So that's a wrap here tonight. Harold Reynolds, Dan Fleezak, Matt Vaskersian, you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Facebook at MLB The Show. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Athletics. One run, four hits, no errors. That ball is drilled to right field as he hit another. Touch them all. Two homers, two doubles, and the Padres win. An amazing night for Ryan Schimpf. And his 14th homer of the season, his second of the night, wins it for San Diego 7-4.